Hello, and welcome back to Elden Ring. Last time, we ended up clearing out the old Altus Tunnel, Gelmir Heroes Cave, and at least got the Shaded Castle Ramparts site of grace so we can start moving into here later. I realized after I finished recording, I didn't do what I was going to tell you, or what I said I was going to do. I forgot to show the finger. Behold, one of the giant hand fingers, and its ability... A flick. It's an axe. Or a hammer, I guess. But it's kind of the same pattern of attacks and stuff. But it's got that neat ability. Is it useful? Kinda. I mean, anything's possible. You can use anything in a fight. Would I use it? Eh, maybe. If I'm feeling really cheeky, maybe. Let's do a quick gear rundown, see if I can swap into anything. Eh, that Bloodhound Knight armor is just a downgrade on almost everything. That's not worth... I actually lose poise, and that's a big problem I already have. If I had more equip load, I'd go probably Clean Rot armor. Because that's pretty solid. I could use Twinned and just wear that. need to get my next talisman slot so I can get a f better setup because what I need is Godfrey icon for charged spells so my fireballs hit even harder. But switch this to Managinata to sacred so now we'll be able to hit these guys a little bit better and I can do this. Hey, Serpent Man Shield. It's... it's okay. Come on. Can... can I attack, please? I always laugh because... People are like, oh, jump attacks are so powerful. I'm like, yeah, the reason they are is because I can't get interrupted jump attacking someone. <laughs> I can't get staggered in a jump attack. You know, people point out that people just sit around and jump attack everything. It's like, yeah, when, when you have dogs, we'll just continually stagger lock you. You eventually just say, forget it. I'm going to, you know, cheese these fights with whatever the game lets me get away with. Okay, 700 versus... Oh, they're immune-immune. Okay. That's an experience. I did not realize that. So yeah, don't come here if you just do fire damage, because you're going to be having a rough time. You're going to have a rough go of this place. Which, at this point, I hope you've been doing it, but diversify your magic. As much as a Black Flame Fireball will carry you through a lot of content, make sure you have things in preparation for when fire immunity kicks in here. I see enough people in games who will sit around and do, like, strictly one thing and one thing only for their build. You know, mono element. And then they complain that they can't do enough damage or they get hard countered. And it's like, yeah, that that kind of happens. If one element reigns supreme 
no one would use anything else. Ergo, diversify your stuff. You diversify your stock portfolio, you diversify your magic. My body took a while to fall. Yeah, I don't want to go too low here. Actually, how many... Big... Okay, I got nine. I don't need to worry about stone sword keys. So... In here is another... What you call it? A, uh... Iron Maiden. So you have to be careful. But there's loot inside, and if you can get around it, you can... You can essentially cheese the fight. Because you just have to bait it out. And that's not difficult. We also need to double back and... Clear in there, because there is an omen killer. And while you can fight them hand-to-hand, -hand, I'm not gonna... Full stop, if I have the opportunity to not fight a guy in hand-to-hand, -hand, I will take that opportunity. And you could ask why I'm not using, like, Rotten Breath, and the answer for that is pretty simple. It's a little unreliable in terms of, like, angles and stuff, and the magic cost is so steep that I'm only getting, like, two full bursts. And at that point I might as well just be throwing, you know, lightning bolts where, for a far lower cost, I can get the kill. Now, I did this fight with my first character being an int build. I just flung rocks at him till he died, which works. It works phenomenally, but I don't have that. And even if I did, my damage output with it would be so abysmal that it's not worth the effort. So we're going to try to black flame him because he shouldn't be immune to fire. No. He is still a mortal man. Weak to heat. Ooh, glass shard.
I'm not too concerned about using up my magic either. Still have three flasks. And there should be... Before the next boss, there should be a bonfire inside that building. Getting close to another level, which is nice. So that just makes all this a lot easier. And the more levels I get, then it's going to take longer and longer to level up. And chances are I'll switch off the gold scarab at that point. Yep, now we get an omen killer cleaver which does bleed build up. So if you're playing with a buddy and they want to drop one for you, you can eventually dress up like an omen killer and dual wield them. They're not bad. For a heavier weapon, they're pretty good. It's no Gizzo's wheel, but Gizzo's wheel requires you to focus entirely on the ability it comes with. While Omen Killer Cleavers, you can slap whatever you want on. You can put. You can make them an arcane build, like arcane strength, and then just go maximum bleed. The Erd Tree Seal doesn't help me. It is. Just faith. Boosts. The Erd Tree magics, which I don't remember which ones they are. There's so many, like, subcategories of magic in this game that it's kind of astounding. And yet, Aberrant Magic is still terrible. It's real disappointing, too, because it's such a cool concept, but the magic itself just blows. No redeeming qualities to it. Ah, uh, yep, down here. I remember down here. This is a, uh, this is an interesting encounter. Ooh. Clutch. Then we gotta go down here. Yeah, this area is honestly huge. But I mean, this... This area is a legacy dungeon. He explodes. Yep. Soul jars are a, uh... They're a different breed, I'll tell you what. Then we'll just fireball him, because he isn't immune to fire. Save me the effort. Oh, this guy's nice enough to jump up here for me. And here I was ready to jump down to fight him. Smoldering shield. It, if you bonk someone, it can deal fire. Yep, that's
that's a level. I'm not going to head back just yet because there's a lot here still. trying to think because I don't think you can clear that that's too far of a jump I don't think you can make this I don't remember which way we go we'll try this way oh you can make it this was another area where I ran through and I was like yeah I'm not going to come back here anytime soon. You know, this isn't Limgrave where I can just meander for hours just having fun. This is just constant heat and pain. Hey, we're back up. Perfect, now we can fight the uh, Iron Maiden. You could use this as kind of a natural barrier to keep it away, but you can get inside and fight it just fine. Just don't try to, like, fall back towards that place because there's a bunch of crap inside. Yep, and then we just zip it is up on by. Oh, wow, that thing just didn't even care. Excuse me. I'm trying to fight here. That did not go well. But we get the Crimson, Crimson Amber Medallion won. I didn't say the reward was good. I just said there was a reward. But for you completionists, you now have it, so kudos. Yeah, this is so stupid that I can just bait it in a continual circle. But, if it works... Yeah, that's the other advantage to jump attacks, is you can screw up some of their attack patterns just by getting too close to them. And then they can't hit you, and then it's just open season on them. funny thing is the like great rune that would help highly aggressive players the most 
is Melania's seal, and you don't get that until pretty much endgame. So, like, your biggest benefit is just locked till the very end. I do find it funny, because that's classic FromSoft. Just like, oh, hey, I see you need this thing. Wouldn't it be a shame if you couldn't get it until you beat the game almost? And you won't really need it anymore, because you're going to be done. Yeah, you got to be careful. There's dudes dangling from the ceiling and all that. And what they do... You'll find these guys in uh, Fort Saul as well. They scream. And when they scream, they alert guys. So if you can take them out from a distance, they can't scream. I love how this is the area where they're like, oh yeah, you can you can summon uh some spirit ashes if you need. And you gotta watch out, because the guys they summon are these guys. With their weird bag on their head. And if they grab you, they goober on you and eat your face. Can I, like, target this guy? Oh, I can't. Because I have the widest throw known to man. higher and yeah I'm not worried about expending everything like I said at this point there is a safe point just beyond here so my expenditures are completely within reason Of course, if you don't know that, then you're going to be paranoid about, oh god, am I going to run out? But, nope, we're here. But we got doors and a bunch of other stuff to clear in here quick before this even opens up into the next area. <laughs> Did I mention this place is huge? Because we have to cross into doing, I think, all this area. Yeah, expect to get a lot of man serpent shields. They can drop some of them. Can drop a magma sword, which is actually pretty good. Some people say to use it to beat Melania. I say just use Gizzo's wheel or 
use Rivers of Blood. Bleed Spam is a lot more reliable, and it's easier to pull off. It's a lot more punishing to Melania, and you're just going to have a better time. If we're being completely honest here. I mean, if you want to be real tricky, you do a Mimic tier with the uh, Rivers of Blood, and then you switch to Gizzo's Wheel. Because it'll spam Rivers of Blood without a problem, but they nerfed some of uh, Rivers of Facts for, like, Corpse Piler. So, at least this way you can still use something that'll be good and strong. Slugs. Slugs are neat. Gross, but neat. More slugs! So excited, and then I just run up and stab them to death. I mean, it could be worse. I could have, like, a spell that just throws salt on them. I feel like this is a more merciful way of dealing with them. You. Stop. I'm out here trying to have a good time. We got slugs shooting lava, and this dude just causing problems. Yeah, we'll drink. I didn't want to, but... In the end, my options were limited. I was trying to stretch that out, but my health got too low. I didn't feel comfortable gambling on it any further. Golden Rune 9, don't know how many souls that is. Hey, does this look familiar? Now we're over on this part of it. And you couldn't, like, run around this, I believe. Oh, you could, actually, if you wanted to. If you felt real ambitious, you could just, like, sidestep your way down. But I don't think there's a way back up, so you couldn't, like, shortcut to get the spot. You have to go through manually. I can respect that. It sucks. But I can respect not allowing certain shortcuts. Though it does seem a little silly to say, like, Oh yeah, you can do all this goofy stuff, but this, eh... That's gonna disrupt the flow of the game. My guy, I can run into the toughest areas at level 1 if I so am inclined and am so stupid to do so. Oh, there is a ladder, so... Ah, I bet you that door only opens up from the inside. I bet that's how they get you. That would be my guess. 
because they couldn't just allow you to skip all that without any problems. Up, oh, this guy. Yeah, you're gonna die by lightning. Hate to break it to you, I'm not dealing with your crap. Okay, so we got down there with a magma worm that we'll have to deal with at some point. And then we have up which I'm also not looking forward to, because this is a boss fight up here. And you have to do it. The old way of cheesing it got patched. Can't have any fun. There's a fire monk up there. He's not going to be difficult. Once again, the power of lightning. Okay, yeah, we have enough to handle this. Drink that. Get tea shreddy. Instantly drink. And we got him with the stink. So we're safe there. And these guys can fall victim to black flame, so I use that when I can. I love how he just f he's just rolling one into a wall that I can't stop. Isn't that a fun experience? But also he rolled through a gap that is smaller than he is. Ah, uh, now I gotta run back through. I'll just meet you at the boss fight. Okay, round two. Get T shout instantly. Get that going. Hit him with a rotten breath immediately. should go for my souls so I don't lose them. Oh, and I'm getting just trampled to death. Yep, because Fatty just rolls in a circle. Worst, worst ability in this game. You know, I get it. This guy is deceptive because you think, oh, he's fat and he's slow, and then he just like balloons out and just rolls over you. But god, that's a stupid fight. But we got him. That's the important part. Almost got enough souls for another level. Serpent's Amnion. We need that for Raya's quest. Then we actually have a few different paths we can take here. One is this way, obviously. Contraption does not move yet, because we have to go a different way around first. 
so... Okay, so we already got that pulled good. Put another point in the mind. Should have enough for another... Uh, I don't know if we'll have enough for another level. That's going to be ambitious. We can sure try, though. I don't think we will. Actually, we might. Okay, so these are 3,800. So we need to burn two. Where do we want to put this? I mean... Could always go more into faith. At this point, I think endurance is going to be a big one. Get that going. Okay, so... Yeah, let's first... Get the bridge raised. So we can get to the Rykard fight. That is the fastest cooling metal I've ever seen. But we can get to the Rykard fight, and we can clear this whole area out, because this isn't that difficult... to do. So close. Yep, and this all leads back to here. So we've got all that looped. But we have a lot more to clear. Because there's really two ways you can get to the Rykard fight. You do all the assassination missions for the Volcano Manor, which we're going to do because there's some decent rewards. Or you can manually run through, but if you run through and you kill Rykard, which we're going to stop just short of doing, if you kill him, then you can't do any more of the assassinations, at least to my knowledge. And I don't want to do that. You know, I'm trying to... I'm not trying to do, like, a 100% completionist run, but I want to do as much as I can. And even though I'm trying to do, like, a Frenzied Flame ending, a lot of the... like, the Frenzied Flame seal I'm not going to use, probably because it scales off everything, and it doesn't scale off everything very well. It's one of those items where it's like, hey, you know, it's neat, but it's really impractical. God, I remember, like, 
trying to farm the magma sword, running through this area so many times. I used to have the Sword of Milos equipped, so I'd get 10 FP back per kill. And I was using the uh, Glintstone Arc spell. Just bonking all of these guys simultaneously. Going for just a quick kill. Getting all my FP back off them. And then just turning around and running it again. Because, like, I'd get the... There's only, like, two guys you can kill that can drop the sword, and I'd kill them. I'd even farm further ahead just for the runes, and then just run it back and just kept doing it. Now I have to think how this works. Also, I never knew you could just go through there. I would go up, around, and through every time. I'll have to figure that out. In the meantime, I will go and try to duke it out against the uh, the magma worm Good thing he's dead. Okay, this fight... Actually, I didn't even realize I can summon for this. It's not gonna mean much, if we're being 100% honest. That said... I might be able to make it work. Okay. Oh, I can't summon on this platform, are you kidding? Okay, how far up can I go? Alright, here. We're gonna summon Oga here. Because he's not gonna move. Yeah, because I think you have to go this way, now that I think about it. And then the worm, yep. There's the worm. They killed Wormy! Ouch. On the positive side, I did get him. On the negative side, I'm kind of stuck. But he did get the goob, so... That is a small benefit. Ow, lava hurts. And I can't really run out of the lava just yet. There we go. So I can fall back.
and try to get Olga to land some hits. And then I can double on back and be fine. Oh, he's just walking away. Okay. And I actually need to reapply my rot. Hit him in the face. Ah, easy kill. Three easy, five me. Don't remember if I need that, but we're going to go for it. You know, I think I might actually have to continue the assassinations. Because I don't know where to go from here. But you know what? That's fine. Because this is about as good a stopping point as I can think of. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit the like button. It helps out the channel a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.